week's episode of A Girl's Guide 2, I find myself in a brand new JCW Mini, which I've just picked up from BMW Berry in Chiswick. Now we're gonna be taking this little badger off to Oxford because we're gonna take it to the mini factory to find out what the apprentices have been up to. And ahead of apprenticeship week, what options are out there for people that want to get into the industry? Along the way, we're gonna find a couple roads that I can really test this little baby out because I'm quite intrigued to see how it performs next to my 595 Comp. So when I jumped into the JCW, I thought to myself, you know what, 30,000 pounds, lovely little hot hatch, 231 brake, zero to 62 in 6.3 seconds. And that's pushing out of a two litre, four part uh, twin turbo engine. It's a nice, fun car to drive. And you know what? I wanted to see what it was like in comparison to my little 595, but the, they're definitely two different animals. This is a lot heavier. It's also a six speed manual as opposed to the five speed, which I've got in the Abarth. Um, it's got the gearbox is a little bit clunkier than I thought it would be, but it moves from gear to gear very smoothly. First to second, I still haven't managed to get as smooth as I would like to really get that power down, but it is quite a torquey engine. Um, the steering is heavier, a lot, lot heavier, but that actually adds to the feeling of being quite planted to the road. These cars I've heard from people that have driven in the Mini Challenge are great fun because they're kind of low, squat and wide. What do I think of it? I think it's a great car to be driving, you know, sort of daily. Um, it's, it's playful. The exhaust note on this really does make me laugh because it sort of pops and farts and burps whilst you're going up the road. I am enjoying it. I think it's good fun, but I don't know. It is something I don't can't decide if I really, really like it that much yet. There's something not quite right for me. I guess for me, and that's not me being negative when I say that, I just had an expectation of this car. When I think of Mini, I think sort of small and nimble and probably like quite quick, especially with the John Cooper Works. I mean, it's a legendary race team. I know there's a lot of development gone into these cars, but this, as I said, is quite bulbous, wide, squat, um, different driving experience than I expected. Not that it's bad. I have had a lot of fun sort of hooning this thing around these roads around Oxford. I, I think that for someone who was a huge mini fan, this is kind of the ultimate piece of machinery. I think if they made it this car, just that tiny, tiniest little bit more hectic for use of using my own words, if, you know, bigger brakes or just a little bit more power, a little bit more on the edge, um, I think it would definitely improve the overall impression that I had of this. But that's my opinion. What do you guys think? The sound system in these cars are actually really impressive, which kind of leads me to think that this is the perfect sort of super sporty, racy version of someone who loves the mini brand, loves the iconic shape, uh, but wants to be able to still use this daily. And you know, the price bracket, 30,000 pounds, it makes for a very, very smart one at that. I think I've definitely had my fun on these country roads. Let's head over to the mini plant now to meet up with these apprentices. I mean, this is ahead of apprenticeship week, which is something that I really passionately believe in because there's a lot of you out there that watch our videos who want to get involved in the industry, but are not always sure how or what, you know, what's involved. So I'm going to go speak to a couple of guys over there. And I know there's a few girls that really want to have a chat with me about what they get up to on their apprenticeships. production steering. So you are looking after all those robots, the Jurassic Park situation out there. What is it like working with Mini? Oh, so I absolutely love working at Mini. I've always wanted to get into the car industry and it's 
working at this factory in particular is great because it's just so unique. Um, I am in production series for Paint and Body, so I'm lucky that I get to look at everything from press through Body and White and then over into the paint shop as well. Um, so it's really great to actually see the process for a lot of the car and all the different challenges that come with it. I, yeah, it's something different every day. engine is now being married into the vehicle. Now this is quite amazing because <laughs> the vehicles are above us and the engines are coming from below. But you can have one engine which is left hand drive Cooper and behind it a right hand drive JCW. And they're all coming down for the correct body on time in the correct order. And it's pretty impressive how, it, how it's done. So I think yeah, what Philip has just actually said is the fact that every car is different, it's a customer's car, so different spec, could be for a different country, it could be a different model, five door, two door, clubman, and yet this factory and its technology enables for every car to be built individually, all mixed up but on the same production line, it's just picking bits from the right place and creating your product. It's impressive! the apprentice training school and obviously the weather is beautiful right now it's freezing cold but we're gonna go inside and check out what all the apprentices have been learning and getting up to so I'm here in the mini academy and this is where the apprentices come and learn their basic skills for engineering I'm here with Philippa and I'm also here with Helen and obviously we're wearing our sexy glasses because that's exactly what you have to wear for these things now this is where you learn all your first year skills and what does that sort of entail? Like, okay, so um, you've got your hand skills which are done on these workbenches here, uh, turning on a lathe, milling on a milling machine and welding, wiring which is both domestic, industrial and you just rotate until you pass <laughs> the test to prove you now learn have learnt skills. What I think the great thing about this is, is that you're actually learning like life skills. Yeah, you're like, although you're in the mini academy, you're learning how to do things which are going to be applicable in your job. Uh, a lot of these skills are transferable. And what we, you were telling me earlier about, you learned wiring, yeah. and then you managed to rewire your house. Yeah. So I bought a, a house which needed a lot of work doing to it. It's the only way I could afford to get on the market. And um, during my apprenticeship, we learned how to wire. And after getting an £8,000 quote to rewire my house, I decided, no, I'll do it myself. And that's, I mean, that's amazing. Like, yeah. Have you used your sort of real life skills from yeah. learning? Yeah, and I, I find that um, I'm a lot more confident in terms of just using basic tools and things, actually. It sounds really stupid, but I now, like, I don't think twice about picking up the toolbox and fixing things, whereas before I was kind of a bit more hesitant, which is really cool. Um, yeah, it's great. It's one of my favourite things about programmes like this, is it's not so like it's not so centric on the job itself you're learning things which are transferable you can take this and move on say if you moved on from here and these things are going to stay with you for life and always enable you to earn money maybe in different industries or just generally be able to get shit done yeah, yeah pretty much really important to remember is like these guys are not only getting a degree they're getting valuable experience as well so some people can do the mechanical engineering degree and do three years and then have to come out and start with their experience from that but if the people that are on this program they may be getting a degree or a HNC but you get the valuable qualification and the practical knowledge and application along the way I mean, do you find that help more helpful for you that you're learning on the job, essentially? Yeah, so we get to do four days work experience, whereas, so when we come out at the end of the four years, we'll have the degree, but we'll also have experience. Exactly. And we'll get placements in every six months, so we get experience in all different departments to work out what we like, rather than going into a job yeah. and having to like what you chose first time around. Yeah, absolutely. So it kind of eliminates the chicken and the egg situation when it comes to jobs experience versus qualifications, which I think is super important. So it's just scanning, scanning the 
side of the yeah, car. Yes, so there's a 3D scan, so what is there will soon be on our screen and we can compare that. That's the cab model, <coughs> obviously the blue. Um, and in a minute we'll have a grey, we call it a mesh, yeah. which is what's in, in front of us there. So what essentially is happening is they are scanning the outside of the vehicle and then they can compare that to the, the CAD design so you can make sure that the vehicle is constant, always as it should be? Yeah. As so, it comes off the production line? Yeah, exactly. And obviously <coughs> this car's been driven, um, it's an audit car, so they've driven it for say 40,000 miles and at different increments we scan it and make sure that nothing untoward is happening. So. And did you think once you'd done your apprenticeship that you would end up doing something like working with robots? Uh, no, no. <laughs> certainly not measurement as well. I didn't, you know, I didn't really know this department existed. So, so you've learned the the is it meteor meteor metrology? Whoops. Nothing to do with weather or metal. I thought that I was do. like, why have they got a weather department? But no, it turns out it's something completely different. <clears throat> so metrology. Yes. And this is a skill that you've taken forward from your apprenticeship. Yeah. So um, I started off as electrical. They kind of go electrical and mechanical. I was the electrical route. Um, although it's nothing particularly electrical. I do now. You, you know, they, they yeah. try and hone you into a somewhere where they where they need the skills. Amazing. So you I've like your job? It. Yeah, I love it. Wow. That's all you can ask for really, isn't it? So to conclude my day at the Mini Planet Oxford. I am so like I'm so proud of the people that work there because you know what the apprentice scheme it's just great to see them getting some real life skills and they're actually putting them to practical use they've got around 150 apprentices on site and if you guys want to get involved the applications to be an apprentice here uh, it closes on the 14th of March and if I could tell you to do anything in this life if you are interested in doing something like this this is a great place to start and it's a wonderful and also I'm going to put some more details in the box below so you can find out more about this. Uh, well thanks so much for watching. I am going to go get back into the car because it's just freezing. But I'll catch you guys next time.